Cool. Ho Young Man is possibly the most successful comic artist in Korea today, uh, definitely in terms of money he makes. Uh, Go Young is, uh, frankly, without Go Young, I mean, I can imagine uh, Korean culture without Lee Chang Dong or Im Gon Tak, but I don't <laughs> think you can imagine Korean culture without Go Young. There is no, just no possibility. Go Young is the most, inf possibly one of the most influential cultural figure in post war Korean history. Uh, I'm not. I hope uh, you know. You know. You think I'm crazy? <laughs> I'm not really exaggerating, and uh, I can probably prove that by going into the Jungang Dosogang or National Archive, uh, National Library, and then actually pull out some numbers about publication and how many, how many cumulative copies of the cartoon works of these people have sold, and they will probably outdistance some of the best, the most incredible best-selling author. Um, anyway. A similar situation in Japan. But anyway, um, just very briefly, I ran into a serious problems about researching the uh, 70s uh, comic book, which was my, so my real interest. Uh, and there are a lot of problems with this. And again, I'm not going to cover this. But the situation has improved after 1998 in a cartoon information center was built in Puchan City. City of Puchan is a very interesting place. I always go there for Puchan Film Festival. I'll be there as well in, in, in this year. So it's sort of very interesting that you know, those who are interested in urban spaces and, and this, how these outskirts of the Seoul cities, the satellite cities and so on, are becoming new cultural centers is actually quite interesting. And that, that can produce like several books on its own. Um, then they're evolving into Mana Jujanggak. You know, Jujanggak is of course the you know, Yi Dynasty, Joseon Dynasty. <laughs> But it's, it's actually quite incomplete right now, and they are just uh, collecting uh, materials as we speak. It got huge boost uh, when they actually created a Korean manhwa contents agency called the Comacon in uh, 2009. And I'm going to be very brief and just to say that this type of uh, uh, government support for, uh, for manga is, as you can see from this title, Man manhwa contents agency, is that they are really not interested in ma classic status of manhwa at all. They are looking for characters and uh, stories, something that can be turned into a multi multi leveled contents, uh, turned into movies, animation, uh, novels, uh, graphic novels, whatnot, and be marketed into the foreign countries. They think Japan has done it, and so why why can't Korea come up with this? And that is that is the bribe behind this uh, Comacon.